Hello everyone, welcome back to my members mountain. Today, um, a little bit of a weird one, I'm recording it from home so I don't have my mic arm, I've lost my diffuser, and yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, I might sound a little bit different, I might be a little bit different, and that's okay. But, today's members mountain is slightly different than last time's. Last time we had Hollow Knight, and I hope you enjoyed it, it should be now public, well it will be public on the 1st, I'll probably upload this slightly sooner, um, but today we're going to play Bear and Breakfast, which honestly seems a lot more up to speed. It has bears, it has breakfast, what couldn't I like, what, what's not to like? It even defaults to Celsius. I mean, if that's not a sign that it's going to be good, I don't know what is, you know? So, you know, it's only the um, sound effects I'm having are finding loud, so... There we go. I might uh, slightly. It's much, not so, a much less sharpened one there. Yeah, simple enough option menu. You don't expect much from this sort of game, but that's okay. What I do expect is this to be cozy as hell, which, you know, it is. There's a bear over there sleeping. Alright. Ugh, why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm oh, so tired now. Mom's gonna kill me. Sorry. <laughs> Hank's hands were cold, all very sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowy eyes stands far, from, from, far from, from far away. Stands far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent once again except the rain. I forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Hello? I can't move. Sleep paralysis? Yeah. Do not. Uh, don't what? See? Because that's already happening. Aw. Move. Can't do that either. WASD to move around. Well, that's convenient. Find. You mean like an introspection thing? Sleep. Yeah, sure, I'll take a nap in the deathbed. E to interact. I'd already tried pressing that before you said it. Don't. You're great at making up your mind up. Wake. Yeah, I didn't think this is actually going to have horror game elements. That's it. No more dumplings for bed. For the third time, Hank! Uh-oh. Let's see what's up. Also, the little bear fixture on top of his, on top of his little, uh, his bed. And the fact he's got the only reasonable actual room-like room is pretty funny, too. Okay, let's go outside. Oh, we're gonna get outside, outside. Okay. Oh. Okay, so this is a whole house. Is that a is that a duck desk? I love it. I love it. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. And this was the person who was calling me. You have a lovely house. Why is now I'm wondering why mine is so bad. Uh, I'm up. I'm up. Aww. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. Ugh. You can't call that ever that every time we get a little extra sleep. Besides, besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? 
Gee, thanks, Mom. <laughs> no, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should wake her up. All right, honey. Aw. Bear family. All right, let's, let's go wake her up, shall we? Oh. Oh, you are not a bear. Why are you not a bear? Good. Get out. Morning? Out. That's not a very good good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. Hmm, I didn't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell it a mile away. Oh, delightful, both of you. Hey, what's on the docket today, boss? Uh, digging a new hole next to the other holes? Uh, actually, Mum said she might let us cross the creek today and check into the bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. Uh, adoptive, um, sister, clearly. How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? A good old visit to a dumpster. Yeah. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in Mum's. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies here. Let's go already. You're on his side now? It's morning! We're up! Let's go do stuff! Ugh, they warned me that betrayal never comes from your enemies. <laughs> I like the pigeon. Oh, he's even, his hat is great. Hank, kids, over here! Is your digging claws ready? Coming! Before this, we're out, out. Okay, okay. First of all, what is denim anyway? Alright, so we're gonna go see this, uh, which appears to be shrine. So they already didn't, they didn't wait for me. The reason all the jokes about Monday are so terrible is because people only think I'm up on a Monday. Ooh, Ichi Fur just needs more friends to hang out with. Uh. Uh, hi, Ma. Oh, it's Ma again. Morning, kids. Morning, Miss Sam. Worm. You sleep all right? Uh, as good as ever. Yeah, good enough. Whatever that means. Good, today's a very special day. I need you to go. On. The. Hunt. All right, all right. Point me to the hole. It's a black moss. What? What? Uh... I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good and I need your help. Ah! The bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find uh, find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe I get to leave this stinking place. I mean, ah, uh, an adventure! Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here's what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Don't lose it again. No, I won't. He will. He will. Alright, you three. Remember, you're getting that bundle and screw straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, this is kind of adorable. Can't read what it says. Alright, well, I guess we leave. They're not following me, so it's not a direct like, JRPG sort of thing. Okay, so we've got to go by the thicket. So from the thicket. There we go. Through the thicket. There we go. Thicket. <laughs> the three friends found themselves farther than they've ever gone before. Okay, I love the pigeon. Look at the way he hops and just like. like look at that look on his face. Also, the bear is very cute too. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this is not exactly their first adventure. Annie the Carlian dog. Brave, but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Uh, grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear. Cheerful and curious, but maybe a little more concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mum, I'm definitely not going to want too far in adventurous fashion. I promise. I mean, I know you're going to make up a bed and breakfast, so... Alright, gang, spread! Spread out! Ugh. 
Okay. Well, we got water over here. I guess I can't dive into that. I can also see things I can pick up, so that's good. We'll stay up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Molly? I know, I fell asleep halfway through. Yeah. I've already heard that. Sorry, friend. Oh. Tire screech. What in, what in the what? I heard too. We better go. But we haven't found a thing for your mom yet. I will pack. Let's see where the sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom says straight back. Let's go. Well, she, said, she also said get gator weed. We haven't found any that. Maybe it's on the truck. No, come back. Okay, but here's the thing, Hank. You're now controlled by me. And I actually like exploring. So I'm sorry. No, it does look like we can't actually do any exploring outside of where we want to go. Because I would love to explore more. But the game is currently saying no. The game is like, no, no. You have to follow your friends. You can't find more crap. And I'm like, oh, but I like finding crap. <gasps> Ooh, pinewood plank. There's some planks. I can rebuild them. Oh, well, I apparently had some, but interesting. I guess this is going to be my my barren breakfast, right? Ooh, more wood. I mean, like, I know I'm meant to go over there, but, like, I can also clean up this place, which... You know, I think it's a requirement for being making a, bar a barren breakfast. It needs to be clean. Uh, look, he's just a... Uh, ooh! Does that mean now I can repair this? Yes, it does. Ooh! No buildings available in this area. Well, not, not that attitude, there isn't. Alright, we got some more planks around. Huh. Interesting, interesting. I have my main inventory, my character inventory. Okay, that's fine. I know I probably shouldn't just explore and keep doing stuff, but, same token. Place needs cleaning up, right? Like, ooh, two copper plates and a bus sign. Well, the bus sign's over there, so let's go pick up the bus sign. Oh, it's not. No, no, let's see the other side. Right, let's see what else around here. Ooh, hello. Apparently, this still counts. This is this valuables. The trash is called valuables. Oh my god, that's adorable. Okay. Ugh, I could sit in bed and play video games all day. They sure they make them like they used to. How do they make them? Look bud, I just play them. I think I can handle the bus life. Ooh. Can't open this yet. Interesting, because he says... Yet. Is he implying I will be able to open it one day? Oh, I can take it. I'm gonna take everything I can. Sorry. I always wanted to be a race car driver. Not many bus Grand Prix out there, though, I'll tell ya. Okay, but like. Ooh. That was some more stuff I needed. Ooh, that's a lot of wood. I mean, there's an animal that isn't me. Hi. Hi. 
Hi. I'm gonna take everything I can. You won't see the value when they throw away. Until you point out to them. And then they charge them extra. On oh, no, a time period is that time is actually passing. Maybe I should actually go and do the quest. Yeah, but at the same token, there's, there's stuff to pick up. A lot of stuff to pick up. And there could be a bus sign somewhere. Okay, time passes very quickly as well as discovered here. I hope I still sound good today. Yes, yes. It's probably also because that's the only joke they write. In this area, I wonder if there's multiple areas we can work in. Interesting. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab the opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. This strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior. And wore cool sunglasses. A little grey speaker box was strapped to his neck, blowing out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, the little car had a big advert for something called Porn Village. Voyage. Porn Voyage. Gotcha. Nothing weird about that at all. Uh, hello. Be part of next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. Is someone there? You there, fine gentleman in the uh, orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? I don't say anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How, is that my, how exactly are you talking? Bon Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-face friend corporation. What the? Offering secured touristy adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think you ever had me to begin with. Let's bring the old, useless, fi fi priceless family jewelry or expensive hair of choice, and we'll give you a one to three day all inclusive voucher for a vacation of your lifetime. Uh, sorry, buddy, I didn't have anything that expensive or a heirloom. <laughs> Porn Voyage is also looking for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers around the valley. We'll take any location or premises, no matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons um, the holiday they deserve. Wait, wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. There's tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around, tell where Shark Boy tells them. And they stare at the trees. They try to forget their, whatever they're running from. I read a magazine. Humans are whack. Truth. If you or a friend or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to go up on Voyage Premium Brandises, are storing, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly no one forces, and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income, simply press the button under the, my gut and the representative will get in touch. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what he just said. But I heard the shark ride, I'm pretty sure he wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. <laughs> All I had was the humans are coming back. Well, money has to get here somehow. Humans, I've barely seen one in months. That's more than enough. Hello, do you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful attitude. I am cheerful. I just don't care for them, that's all. We say I make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what you just said. Human, back, money, give, good. I'm gonna be honest. <clears throat> it's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the sharks we're in. We'll use any broken down shed, they're all abandoned anyway. Ooh, bear stash. Now you lose, now you gain. Grab off to your throat. Show it who's boss. 
Beep. Uh, hello again. Congratulations, you come automatically get it into the standard legally binding agreement. By using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family era unknown paper pattern. Hmm, name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to find your premium product property details in the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet and the premises are ready to accept the first guest. Alright, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at pictures of the houses and magazines we found. Do the humans made us live under a bus? No, I don't think that's cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. Sounds familiar. I, I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. And I do not get scared that easy. Yeah, looks like we'll need help too. We should find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left sawdust. Let's see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. I've had dark. After midnight, you'd sleep in the following morning. It's also the best time. Ah, okay. Lower the roof of the walls. Oh, okay, no. No, it's fine. Alright, so where are we actually going? To Timber Crossing. Well, I don't actually know where Timber Crossing is. I assume it's this way? Because it let me go there? And most places don't let me go there. Okay, I see. We need a lot more bus signs. Apparently, it looks like we're doing more than just a bed and breakfast here because it seems like there's a lot of things we can um, do, which is interesting. There's also a lot of information given on that mini map about where we should go, which is good. And the music's pretty nice too. Sorry, just, uh, still looking for a bus stop. Ooh, hello. Let's go full firewatch. Oh, hey. There's mushrooms out there, so they say give you worse nightmares. I can sure go for some right now. Wait, what? You're literally sleeping. Okay. Apparently none of the um, humans really care that they're, they're talking to a bear. Which is probably good for my business prospects, to be perfectly frank. That's okay, I'm just gonna pick up all these, these logs. And then we'll be fine. Wow, he has a lot of wood. Oh god, we're talking like mass deforestation here, aren't we? What if the trees this big could fit? Could fit. Okay. Weird, but okay. Huh. Okay, well that's just going over there, which we can't go to yet. Okay, that's fine. This is some more to pick up if we can get past the water. Okay, good. The water was on the top part up here. I think it was water. Yeah, that is definitely water. Or maybe he worked for this just because I stole all of his wood. Right? That's how people work. I see all their wood and then they're like, Yeah, yeah, of course I'll work for you, friend. Where else would I go? You have all my wood. Yeah. That's how this works. Just a little bit more to clean up. So we've got one trash pile or two. I think the trash piles will be more interesting at this point if we can get to them. Because realistically, the trash piles... Yeah, why do we punch trees? Yeah. Because the trash piles like this are more likely to have something good in them. So we don't have very much of like metal or iron. Oh, by God, a bear! It's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. 
Oh my goodness, you can talk? I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mama? Uh, she's great. Listen, we want to ask for help, and we've got to... Help? I didn't say so. What do you need? A sack of second birch? Uh, actually, my friends and I are wondering. An oak spoon? Ooh, maybe Margaret will love that. Has anyone told you how to solve yet? No, there's a shark in Timber Crossing. Ooh, ho, ho, a redwood plaque for your fish. He says bring humans to the valley. Oh. Well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over this mill here, I found these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought I could take so many shapes. Look here! Elaborate contours, naughty frames, perfect angles. Clearly the only one incredible being can come up with all this. Whoa. You make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would like me to teach you? Yeah, yes. I was hoping you could help us fix up the old shack and could team crossing. Oh. How wonderful. We'll just need my back and a sorry mallet and a ladder. Ooh. And a couple sacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will ya? Bring me the bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. Well, good for you. I've already got all that stuff, so... So, did you find all the wood? Yep, right here. Ah, perfect, perfect. You're doing such a great job. Uh, thanks. I just picked off the ground. Amazing! Now I'm heading to Pimple Crossing. I'll see you there. Okay. Oh, good, I guess. Is there something else spawned that I didn't see, or did I just not pick that up? There's definitely something else on the map down here. Ooh, can I even get down here? I know, it's got a lot of... Ooh. I think it's... Blunt? No, wait, no, it's not blocked. I just was an idiot. Oh, then it's going somewhere else. It's going back to the ticket. I think it is going back to the ticket. Interesting. Ooh. Damn, we can't clear this, unfortunately. That would be good if you could. Also, I clearly haven't been home for like all day. My mum is going to be quite upset. That's okay, that's okay. It seems like sleep is optional, amazingly. But despite the fact that they wanted to... S Maybe it was actually hibernating. <laughs> and now I'm like, fine. Fine and all dandy. Well, this is also more crap to pick up again. Oh, joke's on you, Tony. But, uh... If there's crap for me to pick up, I will continue to pick it up. So, so let me just, just, just... I'll be back in a second, Tony. Just, just... Okay, that looks like the main stuff. Okay, that's the raccoon guy. Okay, I think we're good. Go talk to him. Ugh, yes, but it's no longer Monday anymore. It's now day two. Once again, different day. Yes, all that is wonderful. And we're gonna use that old shed. I haven't seen a human claim in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look who decides to try and show up. As I was telling your friend here, yeah, the wood you bought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First is to clean up the shed and all its garbage. I think you do that. You finish it? Yeah, I did that like hours of dirt go. Great. Now, what to use this old workbench? The what? You can't hammer a nail there, you need some place to work. Hey, next the tree, Hank. Grab some wood, put put back there while I put that in place. You get that wood back to it? That wood, that work with the tricks? Like bland strike you do. It's good. Enough. Uh, thanks. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah, plenty of time to get better. You now humans will get, get over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on clean, soft, springy surface. Yeah, it's none of those things. But it'll do. Ooh, one voyage. 
I have a shabby pallet bed recipe. Go make one to work bench. Okay. I will craft a bed. Oh. Oh, now I can just... Can I, like, move things? Yeah, I can... I can move things. Nice. What else can I do? Level 1 prestige. Once prepared workbench to do crafting items. Functional furniture, use workbench as crafting mode. Functional items in specific rooms, for after materials. Beds give comfort and belong to bedrooms. Toilets give hygiene, belong to bathrooms, etc. Okay. The new art blueprints requests, so by buying them and interacting with them, learn with less You can buy more blueprints in the Bon Voyage shop. Bon Voyage shop is available. Okay, so. I can say build a bedroom. Like so. Yep, yep, yep. We actually got another quest time as well. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I can add a window at the back, right? Yeah. I would like to add a couple of windows, actually. Let's have one side too, if I can. I don't know. If... Ooh. 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 Hello. Uh, no, I want to. Okay, can I just go back? Yes, please. Can I like, can I like, re, ah, ah, is full. That's fine. Okay. This, this is good. This is good. All right. So we'll go crafting. Oh, wait, no, no mind. That's good enough. Let's see. Cost is, oh, it needs a bed. Well, I wanted to put a bed in, but I was wanting to craft for it. Then you go make the bed first. Yeah, I think you go make a bed first. I'm just going to go create room for now. And I'm going to create the, um, bed yeah there we go and now I'm going to edit this room shoot me I can let's exit can I just like click and drag it down there or yes I can okay it now has a bed so I mean I just need breakfast now right I don't see anything else I can build yet so Guess we're good for now. Wow, oh, come back when I'm done. Uh oh. I will craft another bed then, but I think I've already worked this out. Hey, I make that bed. Yep, go right here. I didn't think it could work in schematics, but here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine from back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom, put it on the bed. So, yeah, he makes a bedroom. Yep, stains and all. Brilliant. I was prefer to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You're encouraged, weird. All right, now's the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority. I just have around they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we only need to make them feel welcome here. I put down a little table in front of the house to tell us where to go. A little black book to keep records of the shark. Ah yes, here's how I make it quite straightforward, really. After you made it, it's put down in the shed, it's time to rake in the dough. Okay, I will make the front desk. Oh, each. Oh. I have one each, apparently. Oh, well. That's fine, right? Hey, place it in front of the desk. Yeah, yeah, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Oh, such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever, and there's barely anything in there. Are they gonna like it? You just all know how to take a compliment. Uh, sorry, thank you, thank you. Sorry. Guys, Sharky Doy. They'll tell me we got the joint ready. Not just that, though. I want to see what's in this porn voyage. This shabby wooden bed. Shabby pallet bed. I think that sounds better. Shame we can't afford it yet. Alright, well, that's okay. Nothing to lose, nothing gain. Grand opportunity by the throat. Show it who's boss. 
Although we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. It's time to come unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate in Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were god godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines. Most cause they and mostly because they left behind the, their food and other stuff to animals like. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic if you ask Hank. All he knew was sure was what his mum always said. Keep your distance. So much for that. You can now start earning a hardly life-changing income. So you fit your fa fate and your first guest through your front desk in the experience of a lifetime. Okay. Each resort. Yeah, bedrooms are listed there. Yes, indeed. New guests will rest at your resorts. You have to accept them inside into rooms. And the resort, each will have demands for the rooms. Guest management. Okay, well, at the moment, there's not going to be very much. Like, when it comes to, like, this is not going to be a great room. Oh. Oh, interesting. You can repair monuments in the area to make it even better. I see, I see. Like this. I just had some loggers tools. Okay. I mean, I feel like the toilet isn't the most impressive monument, but, you know. Okay. Let's see who's willing to stay in this rundown shack, huh? Dinky shack. Oh, I get multiple? I see, I see. It's got five comfort and two decoration. I don't know how it has that, but okay. I'll accept you, but you need two more decorations, so. It's basically more comfortable than you thought, so. So that's, that's, that's interesting. Press screen button. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you're now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are likely much closer to financial ruin, but you have a head start, and you probably know what that means something. In any case, make sure you keep with the guests' demands, as they tend to become bigger and bigger. Sadly, it issues that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Okay, but like, how do I make it prettier if I don't have any ability to build anything? Well, I guess I'll walk around some more. Oh, you have a quest for me. It's to give you your lunch, because, like, I had that. <laughs> well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good looking one? I haven't seen your likes around here by bus before. I would argue you're the rare sight. Man noises. Oh, what kind of looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I rode the bus here if it wasn't evident. Yeah, look at me. Of course I'm not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you? Do you take the bus? I've been on a breakdown tractor before, does that count? Mild bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't have either. You know what? Do you think you can do me a solid, bud? I got this letter as a dying sound, but I can't just leave my buses. And there's not been any posts since, well, years. You probably know these places better than I do. Think you could find your way to sort us and give this to me, Tommy. She usually hangs around the fire watchtower. Okay, I have my first quest. That's good. I will do that. Well, my first, my first side quest. I've had quests before. I assume Beanie is the person who was living over there. Whoa there, big fella. Where'd you come from? Uh, I live here. Where'd you come from? Alright, enough of the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash? Junk? Monk? I'm thinking some human like something that would be more distinguished. Ooh, slop, scrap, rebel. No, I need something specific. That's where you're wrong. My classical companion? I got what you need. You're some of the most handsome curator of crap inside the valley. Just that one thing these animals fell away, there's a car flick back at it. Oh great, they have a good dumpster. Not so fast, Bozo. How do you think I should trust you? Uh, my authoritative height? If it is it way, we don't trade with just anyone's street. My head would be in the gutter for noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. Uh, but, but, you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what. Um, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the sinking tuna from here. Buy me a snack, then we can talk. Oh, you find any grub? Yeah, right here. Sale bread? 
Crunchy cheese, weak old mustard? That's all I could find. Hmm. That's like mom needs to make. Oh yeah, you brutish charmer. I'll let you buy a second section of swill. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinky human stuff. Ooh. I mean real valuables. Oh, well I guess this is how I'm meant to make things prettier. And I pay for it in junk. Fantastic. Well, we need more prettiness, so we'll need to buy a couple of things. We need, what, like three prettiness? Um, small nightstand's pretty good. Ooh, old drawers. Let's buy the old drawers. Um, and we'll buy a mirror. And a side table. And I do want the small bear painting, because I feel like you know, it adds to the ambiance. I'm going to welcome that. Okay. And a small pod plant. I don't have enough trash. I have got plenty of trash. This is fine. So, how come I haven't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time, dumb starving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal? No, it's all like that. My buddy Will always made me go. And it's only magazines and pamphlets. So bad stuff. Relax, my liquor friend. I'm not gonna sit if you ain't. Besides, we've seen a liquor new humans around here for a while. Not since a couple ran around after big inferno. Yeah, we never used to be around past the fence and thicket. I walk around like we own the place. Now, uh, anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, you was going back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild to pull it off. And probably to make a few breaks busy in the process. Listen, I get paid in demand so my business results on supply. No humans, no garbage still back at them. And especially slim pickings if we don't get any of these rich of kind. They dump the best garbage junk. I'll tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for them, how about you just save the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place, but like a cocoon to a burger wrapper. It's me, I'm the raccoons. I'm just going to hang it. Sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, so it's a one done deal. There's a couple of things that you keep distracted. The people know about. He was there in the place to build. He knows all kinds of goods will need his shop. Okay. Oh, oh, look. Looks like your premium product is only the old P department. Hey, I don't. Prestige! Oh, wow. That means decoration levels of your property are too low. It's ugly. It's the same room. I would check more lucrative grass to make your products more appealing. I am not essential. Ornamental polish or knickknacks. Guess who crazy knickknacks? What an uncomfortable sense. Raise probably prestige on some satisfying degree before turning. That was my plan already. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, first things first. We have a small nightstand. Which is nightstand, so it should be a nightstand. We have a janky floor mirror. Very nice. We have our potted plant. Yep. We have a welcome mat. We have our lovely small bear painting. Some old drawers. I mean, damn, we're really close, but still too far for level two. I guess I should go buy a little more stuff then. I have to talk to you though. Ah, hello again, my child. I mean, my favorite prince. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Ah, uh, hello. I have a very good authority the kiosk up there is next best shot game while humans come. Oh, you do, do you? What authority is that exactly? Ah, uh, well, oh marvelous. Travel kiosk was jewel at Tim Crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. So, kind of like the pyramids. No, you actually find it's more accurately a rectangular parallelopod. A rectangular wall? So I think we should through stuff like we the shed. And now I'll check more humans and guess even more money, right, Will? Right. Uh, so I know where you came out with it. Oh, it's a brilliant idea, my son. Student. Yes, that's why I said. I'll take it back. You would actually get used to it. I'll get started right away. Go and clear the place out and come back to me. I already did that too. Yeah, yeah. Almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now that I remember everything correctly, a few humans looked after us for years. I made a couple, but I have everything I need. There's a few ideas I still get together. A bit of human literature. You got a book back home we could use. There was an old computer sitting in the town of Sawdust. Oh, some sort of writing apparatus. Thank you, bus driver, I've had one. Great, treasure hunt. Take your time. I'll put everything else together in the meantime. Okay, well, I just don't have the book. I'm not on spelling. Oh, God. This is great.
Okay. This is fine. This is fine. I know I need to talk to the bus driver. I've only stolen his. So I do love how it's mar it's bare noises. I wonder if I'll ever learn to talk to humans. Probably not, and that would be hilarious. How's our mum going to feel about the fact we've been out for so long? It's been a day and a bit. Like... Do I even want to talk to her? Like, if she doesn't... Doesn't know... Hey, maybe we can sneak in, right? Just, uh... Sneak in. Find the book. There we go. Found the book on spelling. Now I'll just leave before she even knows we've been here. And as far as she's aware, we'll still be looking for that weed. Oh wait, no, never mind. She's over there. Doing washing. Okay, well... Okay, now I feel bad. Now I've seen her. I can't ignore her. I see you're running low on pocket money. Oh, my little baby. I knew this day would finally come. The day I would feel useful as a parent again. Oh. I'm sorry, Margaret. But I can help you out, but you'll have to promise me more careful next time, alright? Here you go, honey. Oh. I think she just gave me money. I don't know how much money, but given that I had none before, that's good. Also, she doesn't seem to care that I've been away for a day. Hmm. And then I definitely went further than she, she expected. And then I'm bringing humans back to the thicket. I, I feel like this is all like things that she would not approve of. Oh well. Now I wonder. <clears throat> Could I? No, I can't put that outside. But I put it over here, right? And then build a second bedroom, right? Right? Oh, I couldn't because I do not have the money for it. That's a shame. Ah, uh, yeah, find everything. Took a while. Here you go. Ah, yes, yes. It's everything I need. Didn't take that long. Ah, yeah, this won't take long. Oh, hey. Just like new. Oh, okay. Huh. That's surprisingly well done. I like it. Okay, that's ready. Yeah, it's ready. I never thought I'd say this. Logger. Excuse me? Yeah, it was 38 across in, in 1982 crossword semis. I found in dumps the other day. That's gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. Anyways, you did great, kid. There's more stuff for you to bite dumps now. Oh, and, uh,. I'm putting a good word for the big cheese. Alright, Hank the boy. I'm not only camp for this place. I think you got a good start here. Though it's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I don't want if you ever need me. I'll tell you your mum for me. I'll tell you to drop by sometime. Okay. Awesome, we can find new stuff, and that will help us with our other quests. In fact, it will help us with other stuff. Look how much there is here. Level 2 decorative gold there is now. Okay. Is there anything that gives more than 2? Ooh, that's 4, but it also costs a bit. Oh. Gee, Fox would be nice, but it's way too expensive. The rustic coffee table seems like a nice mix between them. And modern knitted rug. And a floor lamp. And a mirror that's not broken. 
So they provide the same level of um, prestige, so I guess it doesn't really matter that, it really matter that much. It looks some stuff with suits for a bathroom. I mean, I assume I'm getting enough, but I'm not sure. It still doesn't really matter. If I have a little bit more, or a little bit less, it's okay. We know the humans will be arriving tomorrow, so... We need to make this place spick and span. For our first human guests. Yeah, plus 11 decoration. We currently have 12, so realistically, we should be perfect right now, but let's, let's exceed this human's expertise. Okay. Unlock the shop contents. Okay. Well, at the moment, I'm just going to put down the stuff. i put the rug down here. I'll put a plant if I can on this. Yep, there we go. Put a plant on here as well. Put a lamp somewhere. Here we go, and whew, let's put this on the side here if I can. Oh, wait, where am I putting it? Oh, I guess I put it outside. I put some sensor sticks on the. Or not? Wait, where the hell are these going? Just anywhere? I guess I put them outside the human's residence. And I'll put the rustic coffee table. I still want to use this area for another room, so I might just leave it here. There we go. And I will eventually build a bathroom, or a bed, I don't know. But that should be good. The dinky shack should be increased. Robbie receives principal proof of a prominent pot. This will be now, I think. Congratulations, you increased your new property's value by a quarter percent. That is two hundred and seventy eight percent more than our guests receive in their average trip. More of the properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Uh-huh. Not the good work, mind. Just the work. Well, that's fine. Let's go let's go um deliver this person the uh the person who was sleeping and just like have a bear coming to her house. Like I'm sure that won't scare her at all. Well, nothing new here. Alright, hello. Oh, you are already asleep. Fantastic. Wakey wakey, rising bear. Hello. Don't believe we've met yet. How did you end up here? With my feetsies. Burbling bear noises. Good. Physical activity is a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I didn't get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? The one I'm saying right now. Actual, literal bear noises. That's pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use practice. I feel bad, I'm sorry. Ah, just joking. What's a big softy like you doing all the way in here? You have a beanie, I have something for her. Oh, that's a stick name, I'm Beanie. Sabine if you're my mum. But like, I, I like uh, Beanie, no one calls it anymore. Who told you that? Oh, the bus person, he gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie, such a sweetheart. No wonder he trust you, let me see it. Can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it, did he tell you? He's not a weasel. No, I understand the resemblance. No, no, he found the last piece of our atlas. Made this ages ago. He had barely got his driver's license, it was much more than that. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for buses and everything. I thought it burned up in a fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? He doesn't even know I have the rest. Yeah, you can have this, I'll help you find your way back faster. Wait, what, will it? The area map. Oh. Oh. Local map. So, like, I can see Tony. Ah, I see, and there's bus stops. Oh, it's 16 C. Nice. I mean, it's not very useful at the moment, but yeah. I wonder if he was, if he will sell me something like for my shop. 
I only have a hundred gold right now, but <clears throat> I'd like to be taught how to make bathrooms. That would be very nice. Ooh, hello there. <gasps> Logger's tools. Just me, your local wood Samaritan. Okay, well, he's not selling me anything, so... I guess I can at least repair the outhouse. Which isn't quite a bathroom, but it will do. Well, I mean, it won't do. But it will literally be something, right? Oh, you have a quest for me? Well, again, sure. Well, okay. <clears throat> Congratulations! Seeing your first property is going along nicely! Now you're an equivalent of tips, store door salesman. You're presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve prestigious pawn value, pawn voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property up to our standards. Oh, well, I mean, that's fine. No one's staying here yet. Like, this, we've still been doing this all one day, so. Luxurious facilities for the unassuming. Definitely unattractive proposal, attractive proposal for anyone in an emergency. One extra guest request per day. Oh, really? They'll have higher re higher re respect standards at all? Yeah, I guess so. That's fine. Hi. Back already, bud. You're fine, Beanie. Did you get a letter? Yeah, I did. Affirming bear noises. Oh, you're a man, bud. Oh, bear, sorry. So what'd she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow, wow, bud. She found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Ah, I'm drawing this out all out. Oh, it's, it's the funny I ever had. And she was driving bus, of course. Of course. Look, there's sawdust. Hi, Lake. And look, this is where we are. Oh, and you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. This place is the bus could possibly reach. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while. And it's just me and my buses, but don't feel right about seeing the times, you know? No one's really need me and my buses for a long time. But new folks kind of is and all. I think I should let you have this, see where these old bus stops are. Thanks for fixing up like you did this old story shed. I'll give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money. The first one's there right there in the shed. Next, how about it? And obviously I'm going to fix this up, that's brilliant. I'm assuming this is our fast travel system. So I'm happy about fast travel system. <clears throat> Ooh, world map view. The world map view can be accessed quickly the world map menu and the area menu. Here you can see where Hank has been in the world where you discover. Okay, let's have a look. Local map. Okay. World map. Oh yeah, there's a fair amount of places. Okay. And now I have fast travel, which is good. Hey, excuse me. I'm just gonna go fix this other bu bus stop. And I'm not sure if I should just fix the, the shortcut between my parents and the, this guy's place. I know, he talks about my mum quite a bit. It's concerning. <clears throat> That's okay. I can now fast travel. Fantastic. Ah. Interesting. I mean, it doesn't seem like very far, but at the moment, it's not needed. In the future, though, it'll be very handy to know where I'm going. Yeah, the bus are fixed. Approving bear noises. That's great news, Beth, bud. Obviously like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of few people that stuck around the valley. Took, on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen baloney. Strange pair lived in a peculiar harmony. I can smell the gasoline burning from my nose already. This nature come across when he stops, give it a slap, stop a new sign on it. And boom, it drive you out there. Oh. Hank, Hank, where are you? Hi? Where have you been? I've been sleeping all over. Well, I met Tony and he told me a few things to find lumber. 
They made some bed for humans and... <clears throat> where, and where did you find all that alligator weed? Oh no, I didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. Any minute now. Let's use some cotton. Hank? Yes? Huh? Um, There it is. We've got... Oh my gosh, we have to get home. We've been away for a day and a half, and I did already visit her. So, you know. You know. Honestly, honestly. Honestly. I'm just gonna... You know. Explore for a little bit of time, you know? You know? I just wanna explore and stuff. I don't think it'll matter if I'm too late. It's fine. I've got guests coming tomorrow. <clears throat> I do wish the bear would walk slightly faster. That's okay. See what this thing I was meant to buy from was, and what it costs. Okay, selling bus signs for progression and lumber tools. Okay, good to know. At least we know where we can get it now, though it's pretty expensive. All right, <clears throat> we'll head back though. I do have my guests coming in the morning. Which is something. Arrives tomorrow. Deborah McLeod. No reviews. Honestly, I think this place is beautiful now. Fact. Hold up. I would like to craft a slightly better bed. I want to use it. I want to use those. Thank you. Okay. Now. Crafting. Shabby wooden bed seems better than a shabby pallet bed. So, I'll make that. And then, I'll take away that. I'll put out this much nicer bed. See? This is fine. Everything's fine. Look at this beautiful thing, you know? Okay, I really don't get entirely how it turns, but that one, but okay. <clears throat> good. We are as good as we can be in that regards. Honestly, I'm actually pretty impressed with how, what I've managed to break together in less than a day. So, you know what? Good. I will keep taking all the wood I can. But I'm going to shoot my Lisa said to say hi. We did not find any alligator weed though. Which, to be fair, isn't actually our fault. Because I went around literally everywhere. And the only place I couldn't explore was the place she sent me. Because it literally didn't allow me to. So, you know what? You know what? If she expects me to pull, like, crap out of nowhere. It's not going to happen. Egg, kids. You've been gone for two days now. Oh, uh, Hank, where have you been? My goodness gracious. You are right? Did something happen? I'm a came on, nothing happened. Alright, good. What was in that thick head of you? And you? I didn't even say anything. You put out to this again, didn't you? No, Mom, we'll do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days. I mean, it's been two days. Humans are going back. And another thing. They're what? And we're helping. I see. Well, I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're gonna get more to visit. And there'll be money and trash. We get to learn all about them. And, and I get to make stuff for them. Me, Tony. And me. Tony taught me how to make a bed. And I haven't heard from you in ages. I suppose nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mum. I'm not going anywhere. I just... 
it is nice to do something out there for a change, so it'd be helpful. I know it does, dearie. But now at least. You're all probably exhausted. Go get some rest. Yeah, we should go check on the humans. Alright, dear. Please don't forget your hat next time in case it rains. I'll get some rest. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, don't get up for me. I see just fine here. What? That's to say, you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. That's not true. I did no such thing. Relax, it's a good thing. It is? The oversized rat did say size and scale anyway. Look, you made quite the impact on my trash talking associate. Which is rare. See? In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. You have to make your way down there. Come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse, see? Uh. Oh, I know. Guess you could refuse it. It's a pretty good offer. Do what you want, I don't care. Ooh, yay. I mean, you could give me the quest now. I wouldn't say no to it. I like quests. Questing is fun. Ugh. Okay, they don't have very much to say, apparently. Oh, what are you typing? Probably jokes about Mondays, I'm assuming. That's all you say. I see you writing my own pocket day. I would feel useful as a parent. Oh, thank you. I just keep coming back to her and getting money every day, because that's pretty great. Also fine. Yeah. I cleared it. You can now go visit Tony, though. Honestly, he seems a little bit sketchy if you ask me. I know I do want to get the wood, but I also want to go check out that whole new place, so... I'm not going to say no to the wood. It's early enough. It's going to say, <clears throat> say hello to our new guest though. So I probably won't have time getting everything. Uh, there's so much wood we're getting. It seems to be various levels of wood too. And they seem to stack up over time. Not over time, but like, yeah. In terms of rarity. Yeah, it's okay. We'll go up, grab this other wood, and then come back down, be pretty happy with ourselves. Ooh, now that's interesting. I guess I can't get in there yet. <clears throat> no, prospector's gear, whatever that is. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go. Let's go. We need to go to the new place. We need to actually see our guest. And yeah. Guess I'll use my fast travel. It doesn't seem incredibly fast. Hmm, you could use a nice table. Uh. Oh, who's there? Why? This is quite unexpected. My, you're a big fellow, aren't you? You don't seem to be very frightening. Mm -hmm. That's alright, you're not the first critter I met around these parts. Don't be afraid. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to style you. Apologetic bear noises. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dearie. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could find a teledropic Jeffrey from the Blue Shack. Do you know where you are? Uh, I've lived here all my life. Bear noises. Oh, of course you don't. You're not for around here, yeah, I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs in the side of the valley. Oh, well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets wood in this place anymore. I don't think I've noticed a few more souls than usual, so I'm almost like something's drawing people back. I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we've got. Did you have a hand in that? I might have put a few things together. Confident bear noises. I never thought I'd see another person living in our valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, that was quite an accomplishment to do on your own. I hope I'll see more of your handiwork soon. <clears throat> okay. Um. Okay, that was a very long pause, but fair, I guess. Um. Has the guest actually arrived yet? Arrives tomorrow. It said t tomorrow now for. 
I mean, I guess tomorrow is only very early, so... Fair enough, I suppose. I'm gonna go down south, though, and hopefully... Ooh. <clears throat> this is cool, it's got enough motel. Competition. Okay, but seriously. Let's see what we've got around here. Looks like we've got something to salvage over here. Oh good, it just gives me bricks, it doesn't require anything. Oh god, this is like giving me post-apocalypse drives. Oh, my guests are somehow right, despite me standing in the only road. Oh, I'm gonna go back up there in a second. Because <clears throat> I feel like they might have requests for me, right? I will report in shortly, I just need to go and do this first. I, I, so far I've got the bear part, I haven't seen the breakfast part. Oh, you're afraid of me. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I guess I don't need to do too much then. I guess requests. Oh god, okay. Um, four and five. Ooh. Four and eight. I mean, eight and four. What is my current? It's five. It doesn't leave for two days, so I'm not gonna be able to do anything there at the moment. I hope people won't be too afraid of the bear, but it looks like at least the guest request is just the number of people coming. Right? It's just number of people coming. It's not actually anything too terrible. So. It doesn't look like I have to actively do very much. My hum the humans just look after themselves. In fact, if I do, they seem to be less pleased. So. Ooh, this gets us back into the Black Marsh. Which is good, because I'm curious as to if I can get some of that wood, the weed. There it is. I'm guessing charcoal, really. Okay, or not. Ooh. Oh, why is it a gator and not a frog? I like a frog witch. That's okay, I'll pick up everything I can first and then we'll go back. More charcoal lilies. <clears throat> yeah, see, like, I feel like the alligator stuff was like, alligator weed was like, not, this thing means literally weed from the alligator. Oh, I just had some logger tools, I could fix up that pretty nicely. Well, on the plus side, Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's just keep on gathering everything. Doesn't look like anything else to go from here. Just another shortcut we can unlock. Okay, well, I guess we should probably find out what this person's deal is, right? Like, we should probably go down and see. Maybe they'll have alligator weed, given that they seem to be an alligator. Hi! Oh, a tail is better than having none at all, but half a tail is worse than both! Ah, there's a chance a box I find down there is gonna make me rich. I never happened to anyone, I know. It's not gonna stop me. Of course she's not a real witch. We don't even own a broom. Okay, I don't see anything I can pick up around here, so... I guess that's it. <clears throat> I think I see something over here which can be pulled up, but honestly, I'm really disappointed we still haven't actually found any alligator weed. I don't think alligator weed even exists in this game. I think the mum just wanted to get rid of us with an impossible quest. Okay, even the loading scene signs are in, in Celsius, so good. Good to hear. These people know what's up. Right, I will go over and explore that, but first of all... Uh, 
Hi. Come on, come on, to the annual celebration! Uh. Bin? Welcome to Joyous Jubilation and celebrate things that make life worth living! Our special offers exclusive discounts! You're not Finn. Of course I am! I'm Terry! Terry Finn! Because I get up every day fearing Terry Finn! It's a different kind of annoying. So is it Terry or Finn? I have two first names is an egregious marketing offense that only leads to customer confusion! Parental advice materials should be about to include branding guidelines! I'm not saying that. My name is conveniently picked by a committee of advertising specialists, based on the current cultural and pun friendly trends. Ugh, as nature intended. Bon Voyage would like you to commemorate this very uh, sad but lucrative past year by bringing you the festive winter spirit. In perpetual form! Oh. Well, I am a sucker for things a very festive version of everyday things. Oh. Oh. I need more trash then. It's like, that's a sh superb shark rug. That's a shark clock. Oh yeah, I need more, more stuff if I can. Because, like, I'd like to keep that. Also, this place seems very fixable. Joyous construction service. No available instructions. Ah. Well, there's also another fast travel point down here. That's good if I can just get a little bit more money. Well, for now I'm going to go inside and clean this place up. I'm guessing this is what they'll want me to do anyway, so... Ooh, there's actually a lot of stuff around here, isn't there? Okay. I'm gonna guess this is not where I'd be able to stay since it's a diner. Probably just make a diner. Oh, hey, the more Tony. Okay, now this is a motel, so this would be for me. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, indeed, it is. Now I can build furniture here. I'm guessing I can't actually build anything inside yet. It's not quite ready. Yeah, you avoid the room, get what you went in there. You feel that since I was born. <laughs> okay, fair. Well, I guess this is where the breakfast comes in. Like, if it's a diner, I need to have that diner fixed so I can get breakfast. Oh, hello. There's also a dumpster over there that is not being claimed by our little friend and nuke riff off. Riff off. So that's good to know. It's also also a lot of stuff around actually. Oh, this is the same thing as before. I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna hold that thought, yeah? But they literally just left this entire place in rack and ruin, didn't they? Damn humans. Oh. Steel plate and rubber slab. Well, I'll work on it, but I don't know where I'm going to get all that stuff. Okay, that was just belong to someone. Ooh, a chest. Like a literal chest? A chest chest? Oh! <gasps> It had a, a, a rat or a ate a possum uh, thingy in it. Clock. That's nice. <laughs> Left foot, right foot. Just keep going. Your bones can't ache if they don't understand to think. Uh. Oh, it is Took's garbage. Wait. So I've just got to literally buy from it, even when Took isn't around. Wow. That's, that's a lot. Okay. Well, on the plus side, I might have gotten enough for one of those rugs or something. I did pick up a bit of trash before. So, like, I did pick up this, so I would like that, definitely. I'd like that. I like the superb rug. It's a sharky rug. Brilliant plush. Yep, let's go for it. Glorious effigy. Let's go for the magnificent jukebox. Yeah. I mean, this is all good stuff for me. <laughs> Ooh, I need to have a bear person. Um. I'll take a clock. 
I probably should stop just in case there's more stuff to get, but this is all ran this is all um limited time items, so yeah, why wouldn't I get it? Oh, hello, what's this? <clears throat> Ooh, I can even repair the gas pump. Nice. Ah, uh, can't open this yet. <gasps> You are amazing, Ipswich. I got the best deals anywhere. It's something I heard guys say once. Aw. Oh, I really want you to work for me. Or at least give me stuff. I want to see you regularly. You are very cute. Alright. <clears throat> Still some stuff to get around. It's fine. I mean, I didn't even know if I can cross this road, but I'm guessing... Ooh, this is Scrapyard. That's where I was told I need to go, right? Don't know if that one's actually touchable or not. Don't know if it's worth walking around to find out, though. Okay, now this is containing a lot of stuff. Okay. Is it... Is it just closed, or was it closed before? No, I think I just need to go here. So we need another way through. I probably have to pay for access to the scrapyard, don't I? Doesn't feel like something I can get for free. No. Hmm. Not there either. Oh. He even skipped town again or is living in ditch somewhere. That boy couldn't tell his whole tail hole from his mouth hole. But he wouldn't bail, not on us. <clears throat> oh, it's 10 o'clock, Chief. What a surprise. Our hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem, boss? No, not yet, anyway. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. I don't think she knew, sir. Mum didn't name me. Yeah, it really is thinner up here, isn't it? Sure is. I, I didn't catch your name. That's because I didn't throw it around. It's on need to know basis. Need to know basis? Well, I kind of need to know. You'll get far with that, you kid. Anyway, as I ain't it. I run this place. What place? <laughs> what place? This place. Everything the stench touches. Listen, you haven't earned all these questions yet. My collaborator up north says you're something up, something good. Bring people back to the valley? That's good news for everyone. We've got a problem, see? My crew went fishing three days ago. Clear for you in. We lost way at approximately 9 pm near the Black Wasp border. We were out doing our scavenger run, so I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around, there was no, no wade. There's a little hiss of the swamp. If you do what happened to him? No, but you will, see? I'll make you a deal. You need to get my dump. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. I'll let you run around scraps and die in old age before a customer sets foot in the place. I'll let you keep the track you find in here if you get weighed back. I expect he's on the block, boss. That's where I check first. I wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. And can I just take stuff without waiting? Because I'd like to take stuff without waiting. Because, you know, he seems like the sort of person I'd want to double cross, right? I don't know how to use this yet. Unless this is all small fries versus the big potatoes that you get in that recycling machine. And I can't go through here yet, so I guess that's what he was referring to. Oh well. I guess we'll go back into the swamp again. That's okay. Well, it, it, all he said was we need to find out what happened to him. So we had to, to find the guy. Oh, this is dark. And it looks like all the uh, stuff is grown back. I mean, I probably won't grab all of it because it's very dark. Uh, hello? Oh, not this again. I swear on my tail. What am this time? Stuck your head down the drain pipe? Bad mushrooms? I heard a noise over trees. Oh, no. I was just looking. But I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. Pretty much the thing they do. And they sure as hell aren't doing it for you. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you, man. I'm just looking for a friend. Friend? Here? Happy I ain't what used to be. He's pretty small. I think he got lost. Why don't you say I haven't done? Small house while we're talking. The small things don't last a long time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no, it's a rat. His name's Wade. Oh, cricket. Someone came looking at me that thing? You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where your Wade is. Unfortunately, I'm inside. Inside? 
Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big in my cauldron anyway. Ah, uh, here we go. And then, just flew the tire, hit, lost pull of his cane, and smacked it out of the way. Oh golly, then what happened? We got into peace and scrapped. Oh wow, what was it like? The thing! Oh, you mean little little old artifact yours truly stiffed down in less than an hour? <laughs> Only about the cutest thing, cataclysmic confidant you've ever seen. Whoa. It sank too, real bad. We think cockroach lived there before we found it. Twig, what did I say about liaising with the criminal? Criminal? Where? Yes, sir, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one, that. Wade, are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, he is. A festering, nosy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was preparing him for a pickling, if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. No, you were not. You said you didn't know how to get rid of him. It's just a child. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talk to Mr. A? I'm all like, slightly preoccupied. I can't believe you said someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back. He let me use the dump. So, I can get more humans leaving the valley. You never let to any outside dump. You must be something special, mister. Well, that's not to get too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But she just said you were only gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. So there's value in circumstance. I ran out of charcoal or lilies for my pickle juice. You can't find it anywhere else but black moss. Or maybe bird brain 824 is on sale. He gets me away anyway. Oh, it switched his wholesale. Nice. Very few and I see our jail like a new friend. I mean obviously I've found it myself. I've already got plenty. Yeah, a dozen lilies, like you said. Uh huh, yeah, it looks about right. It's barely worth your time, because next time you're taking taking in a broken jail. And paying double. Hey, something us out, mister. This child can't bend after Lily since she used to. Just child. Child, the half-tailed alligator, struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary, but didn't always stick the landing. As evidenced by Tw Twiggy, her tadpole board buddy, who by the mere presence debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try and fit Hank in her big balding wing cauldron. That's the hope, at least. All right, Pipsqueak. Bam, scram. Yes, ma'am. Thanks. <clears throat> yeah, saving private raid. Uh, that's funny. Alright, well, on the plus side, we got him out, and uh, yeah, he probably should have just went on his own, but I guess it gives me access to dump, so that's all I just need to care about. I hope you won't go for that lily, because, uh, yeah, I sort of beat you to it, and I need more, so... Who would have bought it? I know it's a way of introducing the shop, but who would have bought the stuff they can just buy for free? They can get it for free. Yeah, this game is a lot less, um, it's a lot less, like, tycoony than I was expecting. It's closer to just, li like, straight life sim. Which isn't a bad thing. I, I quite like life sims. But still, it's interesting. Not what I was expecting. And you're not saying one foot flew outside the stinking dump. Not one foot? Yes, ma'am. For a month? Yes, ma'am. First rule of garbiology is the cream is always rise to the top, so make sure you dig down deep. There's obviously right at hand operation. Best skill at finding the best stuff is only matched by a loyalty to the old rat. Answer the boss needs a real hard ass, but I guess you gotta be in his line of business. Wade would have been closer to the left hand of Sting, useful in limited capacity, and only under strict supervision. It's going to Anton. What a strange bunch. I always said I had enough of him. I remember the advantage is having extra care of paws. Are you sending out the wild goose chase? Exactly. You're welcome. Don't fight yourself too much. You did what you were told. I suppose it's never end of this bargain. We always keep our word. <clears throat> very good. I'm very much looking forward to going through this this um scrap heap. It has a lot of stuff in it, and that's good. 
if we're lucky, you'll have stuff to fix up the other areas of this um, place. Because there was a bunch of uh, metals we needed that we didn't have, rubber plates, etc. Like those! Those are all... Those are exactly what we need, I think. Yep, rubber slab. Alright, we'll go through here and then we'll try and fix up the thing on the other side. Okay, but like, can I just like, pick it all up? Yeah, I just want to just let me take it. Yeah, thank you. Oh! Wow, he's really opened up to me. Multiple rooms that weighs in now and everything. Ooh, actually, hold up. That was chess. Okay. Another jukebox, but by the way, I actually bought but that's okay. That's okay. I, I think we'll need a lot of this stuff. Like, I feel like I shouldn't be too concerned. Oh, yeah. All this stuff. Pretty soon we're gonna... We've got the bear, we just need the breakfast. And that's the goal. I want the breakfast. Okay. Well, that was as useful as I was hoping it would be. Well, let's go over and check out what the bear's got. Maybe he'll buy stuff from me too. Uh, I can actually press the sleep night button. I don't want to. But I can. I got the best deals anyway, so I had a guy say it once. Alright, now there is a working uh, gas pump. Though I don't know who's actually re replacing the gas in the gas pump, or the petrol in the gas pump, but you know. The petrol station must flow, I suppose? There's something else I think you can repair up here, so let's go. I wish I could repair these, but uh, I'm guessing they'll come later. Like, can I just build in it? Like, maybe I can just build... No, I can't. No building available. That's a shame. I'm pretty certain I should be able to repair this one too. Yeah, it gives me an extra request per day because I now have the bear statue. Love it. Modern art. Beautiful. Very good. Very good indeed. Yes. Oh, this was actually the end. No pavement from here. Like, nothing? You can't even cross this road? Just endless swarms of pavement, as far as the eye can see. Okay. Well, that works, I suppose. Realistically, I probably could... ...sleep tonight, if need be. There still seems to be a bit of stuff I need to do. Like, for example, see if I can fix up this bus sign. Or at least spend the 100 G so I can, uh, 100 gold and get, get, back on, get the allowance again. Because it feels like it's not actually... Oh, damn. Well, I could buy the lugger's tools. But no. Eh, it's not much point, is there? Oh, well. I could buy, though. Well, she's sleeping at least, that's good. Here you go, let me just uh, go here and buy this simple recipe. And then I will go and use it. It's so normally it doesn't happen automatically. Oh, it's daytime again. It didn't take too long. I guess I don't need to sleep tonight then. I should, however, probably go back. It's definitely a chill game when you don't even have to rest at night. But I do wonder if the story will continue if I don't. I do also wish I could book guests in advance. Maybe I can for the last day of this day. Hi mum, I'm broke again. Help. Oh 
I said around uh, to do around the house. It says different stuff and never look behind their fridge. Now the interesting thing about this room place is it seems like the room will be able to be expanded later. We don't currently have the ability. So that's interesting. Like his house feels a little bit disjointed from everywhere else. Maybe he moves eventually. Don't know. I guess at the moment, I just gotta wait until this day's over. I really want to fix up the house. So, there's several places. Maybe I need to talk to him again and be like, I found some stuff of yours. Or maybe I need the bus stop, which I won't be able to do until someone leaves my hotel. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've gotten enough of this stuff anyway for now. Alright, let's go see. <clears throat> Are you up? I really want you to do some work for me. Don't mind me, just living the wood life. Yes, yes. Okay, well, that's a no then. He can't do Jack's me right now. Guess all we can do is wait for the quest to finish. Hey, I finally got you when you went to sleep. Being afraid of heights, this means you haven't seen everything that's down yet. Yeah, fair. Fair to be honest. There's a lot of scary things on the ground, like bears. Mmm. Mmm. And breakfasts. Oof, very scary breakfasts. Oh. This game world is beautifully designed. It really is. definitely gives me like regular life sim vibes though I don't know if it's got a romance system I doubt it does though. the music almost sounds like Delling City no oh, well. What I'd really love to do is build something, anything more. But until I have a good way of making money, I don't think it's going to happen. I need that as well, but I can't afford it. Hmm. Yeah, you know what I didn't put on? I didn't put on my hat. I should probably put on my hat, shouldn't I? Wow, I'm wearing a hat. Does it show up in, uh... Yes, it does. Very nice. Of course I know who's been sending my sandwiches. This week it's less and bloody. Hope they like it. Okay. I mean, to be fair, I stole it last time. You know. So, are these guests actually doing anything or are they just staying around? And how long does he have left? Okay, there we go. Travel to the ROC details. Well, I wish I could. There's the next one we found. I think he shared his one. He only has one bedroom so far. Leaves tomorrow. Okay. I would love to accept more, but I don't think I can. So what I could do... Hmm... Oh, some of them can have multiple um, levels. That's cool. Like, can I build this? 
No, I can't. It said 60, but clearly, clearly no. Yeah, these are worth quite a lot. If I could work out how to sell them. Hmm. I might go see if I can sell them to that shop. That's the only thing that seems to be... Like if I could sell those, I could go get a bunch of money and use that to, well, actually do stuff, you know? Because at the moment there's nothing I can do but wait, and I don't like me some waiting. That sounds way too much like something that someone who's waiting would do. Go down here. See if the shopkeeper will buy anything from him. Hmm. Like, can I? And store that here. Yes, but could I sell it? No. No, I cannot. <laughs> Bird, you really gotta open up your business to me. Please, please, and thank you. Open up business to me. I literally can't do anything until I have the ability to finish this off, which is frustrating. Okay, I guess it's gonna be patient. I don't like being patient. I mean, I have no problem with it, but like, I'd rather be doing stuff. Well, hello, you're different. I saw you walking around before, but this is where you sleep. Okay. Well, good thing I didn't uh, clean up your your abode then. You may not have appreciated as much as I would have thought. Alright, well. I think I might just pause for a second here. Because nothing's really happening at the moment. And when something happens, I'm guessing when the guest leaves, that'd be a good point to come back. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, I found something, and it's not just this machine, but actually looks like there is another quest here that I completely missed before. So, that's something, at least, right? Yeah, no good two-timing rat. The gate's open, what do you want? N nothing, I was just about to... I'll tell you what, there's no respect to the top-down criminal organization business with anyone. What's the point of having boot Because there's no passion for boots, or licking. Hey, the flavor isn't great. Maybe the flavor isn't great. I ought to turn you into boots to see what the flavor comes out, eh? Bear flavor? You usually really stop testing my patience to get to the dump. And a bag full of doorknobs back there you might get along with. Oh, I hope they like me. Claire, get this bird brain briefed on the garbage grinder. Maybe we get lucky he falls in. Uh, what do you want, bird brain? Anton sits over doorknobs? You don't get it to address the boss like that. He's boss to you. Uh, sorry. Boss said something about doorknobs. Sure he did. Look, you be careful around the dump. It's not a playground. Especially around the garbage grinder. That ripped your doorknob right off. Then I couldn't rip out any doors. Of any doors. Listen, you throw in any furniture you built yourself into the grinder. You will wreck it, but you can salvage some materials. Around half, give or take. I bit take. Ugh. Let's not get your hand stuck in there or you lose it. You can't have ripped limbs just lying around anymore. Now the boss gonna lose it. My hand? I'm not talking to you anymore. Oh. Okay, we know how to use the garbage grinder, and I know what I'm going to use it for, which is getting rid of these crappy beds. Okay. I'm curious as to what happens if I replace these things, but I don't want to risk it, because they're quite expensive. So, I'm not going to. Alright. Well, I guess that was it. I suppose. That wasn't that long a quest. I think tonight we go to sleep. It's almost night after all. And when I can press the can only sleep at night. When you sleep the press the sleep button, that might actually help us out. So it might lead to more content. And I think these games are designed to sleep at night. 
even if I'm very decidedly not sleeping at night. At least tomorrow the bloody um, human goes and I can get some more. That hopefully means I get enough payment that I can do stuff, which will be good. Alright, well, this is fine. I think I could probably fit some more stuff in there. I could put the clock there. See, it's so small, that's the problem. Like, I could put this bear photo up and stuff, but like, I'm running out of. Yeah, that's the way I get him out there in the morning. She just wakes up to a bloody, um, brand new clock that's made of squirrels. Yeah, perfect. I do like how I can build my own stuff now. That's nice. Alright, well, let's head back around then. We'll go via the long way. Oh, right, there we go. It's just fun. Okay, now, either way, people will be leaving tomorrow. Which means that I should be able to start booking. Ooh, that's beneficial. Even puts it back in the same place. That's useful. Okay, she's leaving. Nice to nice to have your have your business. Okay, and now we've got one empty bedroom, which has twenty five decoration, and five comfort, five and twenty five. So we need to find the closest one we can actually do, which is five and three. Which five is three, unfortunately. Yeah, let's get this five and it's her again. <sighs> oh well. Yep, you can still say there. Okay, same person staying for me twice. And they appear to have left trash around my place, which is rude. Always make sure your property is important voyages, uncompromising standards. Congratulations, you met the absolute bare minimum requirements to be a halfway decent service provider. The world's at your fingertips. Who knows, a year or ten, you might be on your way to maximum tax bracket. But enough talk about the bleak future, let's talk about a bright one. Your next venture, Pawn Voyage. Remember, if you want a new premium property Pawn Nation, find your local Pawn Shark and just press the green button. Oh. Welcome to the Pawn Voyage Leadership Advancement Program. You now further improve this establishment. Just to be doing so, increase guest expectations to this location. Also increasing payment payout and bragging rights. In order to improve this process, you must successfully complete the following task. Wait to stay for another two guests. A cool new pair of pants. Sure. Let's do it. Task in progress. Return once the job is done. Okay. I gotta get two more guests coming in. Though I might have enough room to buy the next fast travel point. It may not be the best use of my money, but that's okay. Oh no, actually, wow. I have plenty. She pay he paid me, uh, she, this person paid me a lot. I can build probably a second room now. When Finn leaves behind a constructed area, placards every, every area. These placards have optional building and management requests for each resort. Each resort will reward you with extra materials, money, or special collectibles. Okay. Well. First of all, I'd like to make another bedroom because I know I can afford it now, which is good. So I'm just going to build a room like so. There we go. Put this in here. And let's see, we can put the superb rug down. We can put the, we need another bed. So let's build another crafting. Never mind. Um, that's fine. Craft. It's not done yet. It's fine. I'm not. I know it's not done yet. I want to build a shabby wooden bed. Some this actually does comfort as well, so I'll put these in as well. There we go. See, they don't give comfort. Interesting enough. 
So that's, that's interesting. Okay, well, we're going to put this in. And we'll put this in. And this. Give some privacy. Honestly, they probably need this giant bear on loose. Actually, no. Who needs privacy? Privacy is privacy. There we go. Just do that over there. You can have your... You can have your rest on the shark thingy. The shark. Ah, oh, like this is definitely the shark room. Look at this. So much shark stuff. Ah, oh, best room to stay in the house, you know? There we go. Perfect. Very cozy. So, I'm just going to put a sec another guest in the other room. Now the other room is slightly better, it's 10 and 20. So, 10 and 20. 8 and 2, 8 and 3. 8 and 3. Megan Harper. Staying for two nights. Wants to be pampered during her stay here. And that's fine. Arise tomorrow, arise tomorrow. Okay. Beautiful. At least I actually have some money now, so that's good. Let's go re re fix up that uh, fast travel point. And maybe if we do so, it'll let us unlock some further stuff down here. Alright. First things first, fast travel. We'll just uh, have a little walk. And hello shark. You know what the shark I'm looking for? There we go. I locked fast travel. Okay. Cool. Now, the shark is now over here, which means hopefully I'll be able to unlock this area. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab off Shiva, throat. See you as boss. Hello again. You're part of next exciting enterprise. Yes, you said that. I'm only part of one. Those are Arab plans. Like, it's a desert. We'll see you in park a lot. The wild wasteland. I can't believe I'm following this fish suit around. A24 is the main archery in the valley. With guitars and hums and tunes the old sundry roads. It's one to sing about. And this is where a brand new premium habitation facility is first and only stop for previous war on the run. And Ace is otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road. Make no mistake, the adventurers can't be expected to live off tents to trail mechs. They require the best amenities, which is perfect point of expansion for you now, and your chain of premium properties. That's a little clean up work. You should always trust your senses. I've already done the cleanup work, so we're good. The construction system. Like to repair it? Yes. Step one, clear it out. The garbage. Did that. Yep. Good job. It's not a step, it's only that you should do a good job. Go to. Go construction materials. Yep, got it, I'm sure. Yes, I do. Get your butt to work. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I did it. Okay. What about the other one? Can I repair that yet? Nope, guess not. Hi! How's the construction going? It's ready. Sounding, you're on your way of becoming the biggest hospitality developer this side of the canyon. You're currently in position one out of one. Hey, that's not bad. It is certainly something. Let your expert. It. I'm sure your senses now are precisely suited. The next step in this possibly yet un not probably proper operation. Trick humans come over? Trick humans come over! I mean offer value room for logic. Book a guest in the motel, return to receive completely unauthorized instructions how to build bathrooms. Ooh. Alright, well I will build a Ooh. Comfort. Bedroom. Build a small bedroom this time around. Um, probably need some more beds first. Give me a second here. Crafting. Make a bed. So I'll make that. Also make this. Also make this. And I guess I shouldn't bother making a second front desk because I already got one, but I'm going to make a second front desk because I'm too lazy. Alright, so. I'm going to put the front desk down here somewhere out of the way. And then I'm going to put... Oh, this is really looking depressing, isn't it? Yeah, I gotta say, this particular room is looking pretty uh, barren. I 
probably need to do some more decoration to it when I can. I have to go buy some from the junk dealer. Which is there's, there's one right near nearby, so fair enough. And now the hygiene bathroom. Okay, maybe not right there. Let's build it away from everything. Let's build it in the corner down here. Right in front of the windows, where all bathrooms should be. Okay, can't put sinks in there yet. We can put in though, is a mirror. So at least you can look at yourself and start to wonder why? Why does this bathroom have nothing in it? Oh, actually, I actually don't have the money for it, so. Oh well. Alright, we can buy other things, so we can buy a rug. We buy a small abstract painting. Buy this rug. And it's large snake plant, yep. A book cabinet. Rounded landscape portrait. Floor lamp. Maybe another rug for outside. Okay. But we also check the uh, seasonal factory at some point, but anyway. But now, it's fine. I'm gonna put the rug down, which is, that's a tiny rug. Oh well, that's fine. It's fine, I'm just gonna put this here. Don't bump anything, guys. There we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Exactly what we needed in life. And of course the tower rack has to go out there because there's nowhere else it can go. And now we can assign a guest. It's only 10, 16, actually it's not too bad. Um, you need, ooh, five hygiene, and we don't have that, but, oh well. I assume and hope he'll give me some money. I mean, debt to bank, we could just borrow from your future. Astounding, smiles a lifetime. Take that as you will. With our premium desert location, we're freely able to exploit the common resource to benefit and profit. That's right, water. Mutual exploitation, that's the thing. Due to our never ending quest for patron excellence and unfortunately health and safety regulations, this location is what sanitary facilities, which are now a key expectation of any village visitor in this location. Can you guess what next stop is? You sure use log words to say very few things. Correct, you must now build bathrooms, I guess. Bathrooms? Like, are they going to be used at the same time? Like, they can't share? Okay. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, the problem is, I don't have any money, so I don't feel this is going to work that well. Oh well, maybe someone else will give me a quest. But for now, I can at least build a crappy toilet. Wooden shower and rusted bathroom sink. Now, plenty of items around, if nothing else. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing new. Hmm. Hmm. No one wants, wants me in this room. We're screwed. Okay, good. People don't expect hygiene in a place like this. Ooh, perfect reviews. Great experience. Lovely. Great host. We're looking, paying, looking in advance for next trip. Very good. Okay, so it doesn't actually need to be perfect, interesting enough. That just perfect gives me five stars, gives me more money. 
That's nice to know at least. Oh well. Unfortunately there's not much you can do without the money for a bathroom. So, hmm. I think I could probably go back and talk to Mum, I suppose. See if that bear has anything for us. All I really want to do is fix up the diner. If I fix up the diner, I will have bed and breakfast. I'll have a bear and breakfast, you know? But I already have the bear, I need more breakfast. Excuse me. Alright, let's see here. Will you give me money? Because, like, I really would like it. Okay, I really wish it's like giving me slightly more, but I still don't think that's enough. I can't like like bank it and then ask her again. Hmm. Could be another way to make money, right? I don't know. At least the humans seem to leave the, the bear and breakfast perfectly, um, you know, nicely, you know? Like, I don't need doing cleanup after people leave, at least. It doesn't seem like passive money generation. Honestly, I think that the um, shark's right. It does seem like a very easy money making opportunity. Alright, it's fine. I don't think I've got enough money, but at least have a look. Someone needs to offer me another quest. In fact, they might be offering me a quest. Let's have a look here. Get switch. Anton. Bunch of scrap, so I need to go have a look at that later. Um, let's see anyone who's offering quests. I don't even know if that's how you can do it. Alright. Is there anyone who looks like they have a quest? Nope. Also, he seems to sleep, like... 90% of the time. So good on him, I guess. Living that dream. So on the plus side, one person in my other hotel is leaving after one day. I don't know how long this person's lasting, but there's a non-zero chance they're lasting for more than a day. I probably shouldn't do that before I bought it, but I'll uh... It's okay. Just going to see if I explore this again. I mean, you know, there'll be a tiny chance of receiving like a little bit. It won't be, but still. Fair number of useless, useful items though, so that's the most important thing. Mine. Mine. Mm, also mine. Also mine. Also mine. Also mine. Beautiful. Okay, well. Hmm. 
nothing of value. But honestly, I need to keep collecting this stuff because I'm guessing over time I will need a lot more stuff. The longer I get, the better. Yeah. Hmm. There's no bed, only breakfast. There's no breakfast, only bed. It's not good enough for me. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. If I get just enough, probably not. Hundred and thirty-five. Hmm. Yeah, I'm literally like so close to it. That's the worst thing of all, right? Look at yourself in the mirror as you pee. The perfect option. It's like ideally. Interesting, maybe we're actually going to put it in range of that after all. Oh, let's sleep and regret my life choices when people come in and start complaining about lack of a bathroom. I mean, to be fair, I am a bear. Like, if you expect perfection, oh no, leaves tomorrow. Oh no. It says she doesn't seem to care too much about the hygiene. Oh no. I don't know. Yeah, filthy hygiene, but it's beautiful and comfortable. So... I mean, if I'm lucky, maybe she won't care that much. Yeah, well, see, Sheen's happy enough. I'll take that as a win for now. Um, you know, I can't build a bathroom just yet. So that's fine. It's, it's fine. Okay. Let's just go back to our other place and hopefully we'll get enough from there. Honestly, it's very nice that the bus driver would take us everywhere for free. Given that we're a bear. Oh, hi. Welcome to my humble abode. Here you are. Good to see you. We don't have breakfast, but like... You know... You should be fairly happy with everything else, right, ma'am? Ma'am, ma'am, you've stayed here for the festival before. Surely you're not afraid of me. You even said in your review I was a great host. Did you only say that so I wouldn't maul you? It may or may not work. I do like mauling people. I mean... Alright, well, I guess there's nothing else we can do until the bathroom comes through. Oh, interesting. I guess you know what that means. Yep, be back. Very soon. Oh, hold up. Could this be the answer to our uh, toilet problems? Will you give us money? Will you no. Don't you dare go. Hi. Little desert, rundown mill shack. Live Gus, the most handsome possum in the A24. Well, I'm glad about that. Like, look at that smile. Seemed like Dean Free Junk was the main activity around here, and he was no rookie. Although, by looks of it, Gus's primary concern made his charm in driving wheel. Oh, hello. Uh-huh. I'm Hank. Okay. Who are you? Gus. Nice to meet you, Gus. Yes, it is. What do you want to do, Gus? Not much at all. You didn't talk much, Gus. No need to. That's fair. I just want to introduce myself. I always think we'd be best forward there. I've only got two. 
Better start diversifying then. I think you're being a little rude. You're right, you're actually perfect. Thank you. What's all the people? Actually, I might have a hand that. Good! They're the best food in bubbles. And they scare easily. Jerk stream. You seem like a jerk to me. Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. We take kindly those kind of words. Anyways, they used to roam all over the place. Mind me of chickens. Stinky, floating around. Around the, sh <laughs> the shadow. I just stopped the occasional turn. Let me dream, really. Well, you might see more of them again. Doesn't want me, none. Long as you don't stick out the place. If they don't burn the joint down again. I learned last time a squash sandwich and half a toilet. Fire almost got my little driving wheel, too. But I love my little wheel. That's why this sandwich turned out to be a singing level book. Uh, how do you know? You're not really playing with Phil Deck, are you? I really like gambling. Lad, you got a nice thick skin on you. That you think is gravy. Even way I expect it. Uh, thanks. I like your skin too, I think. Hey, why do I say about saying stuff like that? We don't do that stuff around here. So what cheap boy like you doing around here? I'm not creeping, I'm helping. Right, right. Space makes beans inside. Getting kick out scary their little mustaches off. I think they're pretty neat and I like the building part. And my buddy Will isn't too upset about the money. Ah, what are you gonna use it for? Buying food? Ha! Huh. Uh, how'd you kinda of live in the middle of nowhere? I prefer it that way. Just me, Diddly, self and I. Oh, I get it. You seem pretty cool to hang with. Alright, now, follow where I do, I'm done for you. Give Gus a pause. That was nonsense. Actually, underneath that grubby exterior, I think you're secretly really nice. What is your problem exactly? I told you not to say things like that. I'm actually the biggest jerk you've ever met. You're probably the nicest one you've ever met. Okay, did that get me any money? No. No, it did not. Oh well, you know what? It did use up enough of our day that we're getting very close to actually being done. It also revealed that we don't know if anyone's got side quests because it doesn't seem to show up on the map, which is fine, I guess. But I might want to actually go explore a little more. But if I can get another, if I can get taught before tomorrow, I'd be very happy. So we're just gonna do a quick run around of all the various people we've met and see if anyone. As a quest for me. We already checked the other area, so I think we just gotta go find the possum guy. Not the possum guy, the builder guy. I think though it's more likely that we're gonna be um, leaving that person unsatisfied. Hi! Hello! Why are these people so afraid of me? It's like they've never seen a bear before. Or a bear owning and running a, a bear and breakfast. Like what do they think the bear and bear and breakfast stood for exactly? An artichoke? Oh you're up. You don't have a quest for me do you? Eh, if you follow the one, sound. Okay, it's in season again. So it definitely isn't full life sim with like relationships and such because like, there's no reason to talk to people over and over again. And nothing up here either. I think we're just gonna sleep tonight, and then tomorrow we can build our we can do build our um bedroom. I hope my bathroom. Hope. Two guests have have left. Oh, well, good, I guess. That mean I get the money. Does appear to. So let's go over here. Oh, and also, I'm very curious. I mean, I only got four. I got, I got four stars still. So even without the, the bathroom, it seems that they still enjoyed this day. Alright, so I think I've got to build it in a range. Yeah, see, that gives it a range of two, build, two um, 
rooms. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. So I'm going to put down this, this, and yeah, it's got to be over the toilet, right? You got to watch, watch yourself while you pee. It's perfect. There we go. And of course, we've got to book someone else in. Let's see. We have 10, 15, 9. 10, 15, 9. 10, 15, 9. I think Deborah might be the one coming back. Or this person. Oh, so this is a distillery. Well, it's not going to be a no distillery. Get this person in, I guess. Although, we could probably build a second room pretty easily. But no, no, let's find out what the quest is first. Yeah, it's like Mooch, you have your own furniture! Amazing! Now your guests' needs are relieved from rent. Show us the most important thing to provide renting a room. The hotel. Being comfortable. Taking time off. Repression! That's my third guess. Very nice insight. Custom motivation towards your product is key to modern marketing. You're doing that thing again. Why don't I say this scum hole? Hey, I put a lot of work in this place. That's right, running away from what you can escape. Cheap, haunts on focus. Yourself! Now that it's all dark, which is a perfect opportunity for someone with our most popular facilities. A bar! That's worse. Oh, there's any bar, a tasteful, sophisticated establishment, a distillery! Oh, how refined. Special rooms provide extra attention to your resort, they offer special amenities, entertainment to your guests. Some rooms, guests have demands for specific special rooms, but all guests appreciate them in general. Special rooms can be a big boost to your resort prestige score. Special rooms such as distillery can only be built in certain areas. It's great to see those who are looking for unwind and hearty spirits. Buys a bar, seating, and dispensary functional. Some guests specifically look for a facility in their accommodation. Okay. Well, I guess I'll build a distillery, though I don't have the money for it. No, I don't, so... Nope. In fact... If I can afford another bedroom... I'd rather have that, because that will help me... spend... pay more, so... That would let me get more money. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get another shabby wood. Get that, get that. So, one, two... Okay. This is obviously a, currently a very basic room. That's okay. There we go. Perfect. Probably actually want to put some windows at the back of this place. There we go. Perfection. And now we get someone else in here and we can go back to the other hotel to do the same. So 10, 9, 9. Let's get you. There you go. Well, this is looking more like an actual bed and breakfast, though. One guest, five and twenty-four, and honestly, I think we can make that better. We can put in the other things that provide comfort. As we did know we can craft, and we can craft ourselves a simple wooden wardrobe, and that. Yep, and there we go. Lovely. Very cozy. So ten twenty-nine. 
Wait, both rooms are empty? Oh. Oh, so we can't actually book people in the day before. Gotcha. I was wondering about that. Someone clearly left this place a bit more of a mess though, so... Rude. Guess I do have to do some cleaning up now and then. Alright, might as well buy some more stuff as well. I could have a rug. Another potted plant, another potted plant, another rug. There we go. Perfect. Good, let's go back to the other area. We can't build a sewer yet, but I'm guessing with enough people leaving and coming and going and saying and all that sort of good stuff, we might be able to make it tomorrow. And you know what? I think that Barky Cat is breakfast. It's a breakfast of champions, that's what we say, right? So, I feel like once we've gotten this distillery up, we'll have enough that we've done that we can end this video for now. But, if you like it, you can always request more. I realize this is a, uh, a member's mountain video, so it was requested one in the first place, but it doesn't mean that people can't ask for more of it um, if they want a series. And obviously I don't have to say yes, but with this one I think I, I think I would definitely do that yes. Wait, did someone seriously leave an apple core? Rude. Can't they see how lovely and clean I keep my establishment? Maybe an apple core of all things? God. Alright, well it's fine. It's fine. A little bit of time, but like, I feel like we're good at the moment. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with our two, uh, restaurants. Oh, two, um, bear and breakfast. Instantly, one of them is going to offer breakfast. Wait, staff? I can get staff in here? Are they also going to be animals? Yeah, hygiene penalty, negative 25. Oh well, I mean, honestly, that wasn't too bad to. Also, I do find it ironic the person who said that my place is filthy also left some trash behind. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Humans or human, I suppose. They can't be as sophisticated as, as bears, you know? Look at that. Look at that bear. Look at that strut. Yeah. That's the that's height of, um... Ooh, hey, you have a quest! You seem like you barely know how to put one foot before the other. I'm not surprised. Excuse me? Tell me, child, you reckon with the wild? You flirt with the bazaar? Reckon the Enchanted? Did I know to occasionally look in the distance? Well, no, I didn't think so. You don't look the part. You never set foot in the shadow darkening your mother's. If you think these lands are young, you're greener than crude saplings. There is nothing to fear but those who fear nothing. What the heck are you thinking about? Talking about? Yeah, fine, I guess I'm looking stumble upon some of the pockets. You just call me something? I hope for your sake you're not empty. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything at all about a human showing up at Noah, would you? Uh, I might have had a hand in that. Well, there's no something to now, is there? Once I start coming back, they'll keep coming. I don't complain, business is slow, this is a dreadful place. I didn't know the fire reached all the way out here. Oh, the fire wasn't even close, or worse than that. The shouting, the anger, the pain. As if the gods were waging war upon us. Maybe they were. Now you're getting it. Anyways, we might be taking care of the motel. But there's a clear lack of stuff to buy to eat around here. Tell you that dull dino is a sweet spot for. 
you get back up to speed, I'm pretty sure you'll have more people come over. Yes. Thank you so much, bird. This is it. I want breakfast to go with my bear. And then I'll be happy because I'll have my bear and I'll have my breakfast. Let's go. You know how this works though? Step number one is clean it. Yes. All cleared. You have the instructions. I'm pretty sure I have it already. And get to work. Oh wow. There we go. Now we have breakfast. Okay. That should actually help. So thank you, bird. I appreciate it greatly. I was wondering how to repair that. Uh, how's that repair going? Done, done. You should know, there's nothing more treacherous than green earth than humans. It's bad girls. And nothing as well, yet they can shoot us. The dark spirit will be angry with their return. You may freak me out, you know? I suppose they do bring their own fortunes. But you call us don't share willingly. Let the prey or become prey. Or scavenge like rats. I suppose there's any bad dreams lately. No, no, none. I sleep with a... Yeah, big, honest baby. Don't worry, she only bites when she's sold. There's no one to tell yes or no. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, okay then. Oh, well, we don't have El Sewer yet, but we now do have a diner. Which, I don't know what that will do. Probably just more guest options, but still. Alright, and we're reaching very shortly that we are asleep. Which means the people can come and have breakfast. Look at that diner. I don't know who's working there, or... It's kind of creepy, really. There's no one in the back, there's no one in the front. But, you know, it's, it's fixed, and that's the most important thing for a bear, right? We don't understand how diners work, come on. Well, we're getting very close on that one. Alright, how long is it till you can sleep? Not long. That's okay. What are the achievements like in this game? Alright. Sleep is overrated. Little level. Didn't listen to your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Finn, Pond Voyage, okay. 50 guests, 500 guests, 100 perfect reviews, pair all the rest of us, where are the bear statues? Like 15 blueprints, 30 blueprints, all blueprints, cooking recipes. I'm pretty basic, folks. I didn't necessarily want to look at the rest of this. Oh, 11 hidden. Good, 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 good. That's okay, I was just here to see what you had to say for yourself before, you know, or I can sleep. And wait until people have breakfast and thus completing the bread and the bear and breakfast cycle. Here we go. Perfection. Alright. Sleep time, I hope. I was thinking wonder if this is like full on post apocalypse or not. Or is this literally post a fire? But the fire seems like it did a little bit more. Like if it destroyed everything and the humans left because of it, that's a little bit extreme. Definitely not the way to go. Alright, ooh, it's got a plaque on it. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Seems like the idea is we go to one area to another to another and slowly repair everything. Which is fine. We've got what appears to be a lighthouse over here, a beach, an Arctic area. What seems to be a lake and a cavey area. There's got a few areas to explore. Hmm. Fascinating. Oh well. There we go. 
So now it is officially breakfast time. And as a bear, I can go and have breakfast. Gee, hold up. Keep it close up. So. Alright. People left, which means I can go to the other bed and breakfast. And hi. Hello, welcome. Good to have you here. Make sure you have breakfast. If I go back to Sawdust, not oh, Sawdust, Timber Crossing, it's possible I'll get some gold for finishing that quest and I'll be able to finish the story. Oh, come on. Actually, if they're coming, if they're about to leave, I might be able to, um, yeah, it leaves tomorrow, so I should be able to accept a guest now and put it into there. Okay, so that's what I'm meant to do. I'm meant to keep on booking people in before they leave. That makes sense. Job complete? Yes. Okay, I will put on these pants. Alright, I'm now wearing pants. I feel this is a downgrade, but oh well. I think we can go back and see if we can book some in the other place now. But then I think we might end it for now. Like, we've now we're offering bread, beds, and we're offering breakfast. So we've got the bear, we've got the breakfast. I think we're good. For now. This has been interesting though, now let's see where it goes. I'll be with a little bit more pausing on the side of the player. Uh, the viewer because yeah because this game has a lot of waiting around which is fine there we go see ideally all right leaves tomorrow so should be able to put one more guest in hey margaret also check out the reviews well you haven't left yet yeah, so I'm pretty certain we should be okay. I think I've got the idea of this game. I think I know what we're looking at here. It's been fun. Let's go slow work through all the quests, I suppose, and try and make a functional and... Oh! They're yeah, literally having breakfast. Oh, let's watch. Let's watch him have breakfast. Here we go. He's getting food. Yep, yep. <gasps> He's having breakfast. We've had bear. And there's breakfast. Okay, I feel good now. We've literally seen them have breakfast. That is fantastic. Well, thank you for joining me today. This has been the Members Mountain for Bear and Breakfast. As you will notice over the next couple of days, um, when January comes around, January 1st, um, the previous Members Mountain will become a public video so they can all view it. Uh, and then the um, this one will become publicly viewable come um, February where I will have another member's mouth. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you want to see more Bear and Breakfast, just say so. Um, I will probably play more myself if no one requests it by the end of the um, well, month and then a bit more, <laughs> because I've got to give people a chance, both paid and unpaid, to request more. But for now, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.